welcome to Mr. and Mrs. Good with a twist. I know we've been gone for so long, but we're gonna go back now. We are, well, this is a show, first of all, I gotta recap. The meeting forgot. This is a show with the Mr. behind the camera and your student, the Mrs. And what we do is we get recipes from our friends, left on internet or TV, twist it around. And then to make it healthier, you think it'll taste good or we're just bored. Alright, well we're revisiting our series on dips and desserts. Um, I have to tell you, Joe, his brother, he got, he got an awesome grabbing gift of a skillet. Mm -hmm. So... We had, the first thing we made was the steak. Yum. Then we made bacon, which we just had this morning. Double yum. And today, right now, I'm going to be making, get this, a chocolate chip cookie in a skillet. Here's Joe with the ingredients. All right, so here are the ingredients. First, we're gonna need one whole cup of firmly packed light brown sugar. We need another half cup granulated sugar. We're gonna need one cup or two sticks of unsalted butter, softened. We're also gonna need a bowl for all this, as you can see. We're also gonna need one teaspoon vanilla extract, two large eggs, two and a half cups all-purpose flour, one teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon salt, and really this part is your choice. You can put either M&Ms, um, chocolate chips, peanut butter chips, butterscotch like we have here. Um, this, this is you're just going to need about two cups of whatever you want basically to put in your cookie. And that's it for the ingredients. Okay, now we're going to... Put in our. Oh, we are, we are. Yeah, that's heavy. It's a yeah. There you go. And sugar, and that's brown sugar. Got it. That's your. And mm. then we're going to mix it with a mixer. Okay, we're gonna mix the eggs now. We did the butter and the sugar. So everyone knows how to mix, whatever. So that's that. And then now we're gonna put the eggs. And the uh, vanilla. All uh, right, now we're gonna mix in the eggs. Well, vanilla first. With vanilla and the eggs. One, one, at, a time. one at a time. So now it's time to put in the dry ingredients. The salt. Oh, was that baking soda? That was baking soda. Baking soda, salt. salt. And flour. We're gonna have to do teamwork on this. There's a lot. Oh. Slow. There it is. It's flour, so be careful with mixing. Uh, yeah, do it slow first and then. Do I use a mixer or no? No, it says mix. Stir actually with a wooden spoon. So I think it's supposed to be chunky like this. Okay, you can forward this. That's okay, forward. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to put. A cup of chocolate chips. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I preheated it. 
Now I'm in a 375. Okay. This is time where you can put like whatever you want. Uh, butterscotch, um, chocolate chips, or peanut butter chips, or or M and M's or whatever. Oh, candy you I'm want. gonna I'm gonna sneak in. And then Sam's little twist right here. Oh. Some Nutella. Mm. Everything's better with Nutella. It's gonna be a scoop. You know, it's just like there's a little taste that people are gonna be like. What's that? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, and then we're gonna... Okay, then we mix it and look at the mixture. And we sprayed it with this. Our uh, skillet over here. Sprayed the skillet. Now we're gonna put it in. So. Oh, okay. I'm like already. So we put all the batter in, on, in the skillet. Now we're trying to spread it around in the skillet. Oh my gosh. It's a... Looks good so far. Um... Spread it all the way to the edges <sighs> and then like kind of press it in. Um, and then we're gonna put it in the oven that's preheated 375 degrees and leave it in for about 25 to 30 minutes until lightly brown oh my goodness just kidding ow oh i forgot to say that like before we did this we took the pan and we sprayed the spatula and we switched from wooden spoon to spatula to do all that, but you know, so otherwise it would have stuck. So I think it's good. All right, ready for the now oven? Now we're gonna put it in the oven. Remember, it was preheated 375. So be right back. All right, now that our oven is preheated, we're gonna put it in. sure it's still cool when you do that your skillet's gonna be really hot when you take it out so make sure you have oven mitts everything ready for it all right we're gonna wait 25 30 minutes and we'll see what it looks like all right so here's the cookie right out of the oven we it took us about 25 26 minutes to heat up you know as long as the edges start getting brown I think it's pretty much done so when that's done you just have to let it cool for another 15 minutes, take it out of the heat, and we'll revisit. Okay, it's all done. Look at it. Mm. Wow. That's a big cookie. cookie. Yeah. It kind of looks like Pac-Man. Look. Oh, yeah. Just put an eye in there. Yeah. Oh, sorry. All right. Anyway. All right. And we cut a little piece out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to taste this. Here we go. Oh, wow. Look at it! Mmm! It's a thick cookie. It's a really thick cookie. <laughs> okay. There you go. Mmm! Mm. <laughs> Good. The texture of it is like... It's like a cake, but it's not. It's like a cookie and a cake at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Is it crunchy in the bottom? Mmm. No, it's like it's like moist, like a cake, but mm -hmm. then like I don't know. It's, it's I'll have a more. Okay. Well. <laughs> All right. Hope you guys tried this out. Like I said, um, yeah, skillet and follow the recipe, and it's super good. And we haven't done this in so long. I have no idea the ending. I mean, don't mind me, I'm just eating my food. Mmm. Oh, wow. You know what? I think the Nutella 
that I, you know, you can taste it. Like I said, it's making you just be like, mmm, what does that taste? So, definitely try that out. But, take one last look. Look at our little cookie bag, man. Wow. And you know what? It would, I, I just thought of this now. It'd probably be super good with ice cream. Oh, yeah. Try, definitely right? trying that later. With ice cream and, oh. and syrup, right, well, whipped cream. That's, that's it for today. Um, hopefully we won't be gone for another two or three weeks. So, thank you for watching and please uh, watch for us next week. Hopefully we'll be back. We will be back with uh, another delicious meal. You never should